Well, with all the hype about Tesla releasing their semi and their roadster, you know, we've got Frisker over here who is trying to catch some of the spotlight talking about a battery with a 500 mile range that can be charged in one minute. Now, they originally, when they're, I think this Frisker guy is somebody who used to work with Tesla, got in a disagreement, went off and started his own car company. But he was originally going to do this gray fine based hybrid supercapacitor, whatever, for their cars. But it turns out they didn't, they shelved that and they're going to do lithium ion it's, um, for the first cars. And this is actually maybe one of the cars with lithium ion. But this is about their new breakthrough battery, which is going to be, I think, from what I understand, no liquid at all in the battery. It's going to have no liquid at all in the battery, and you can charge it in one minute. I know the way you can charge it, apparently, is you can just drive over something, and it'll charge from underneath. So that is going to be an incredible amount of technology. They're filing for patents now, and I'm guessing they're not going to share them with Tesla. Let me know if you know anything about this stuff, but it's got, you know, of course, two and a half times the energy density. That's why they're saying they're going to get 500 miles per charge out of a car. So that is... I'm curious about the life of the battery. There's nothing that's saying, talking about the life of this battery, the uh, lifespan. And if it doesn't have any uh, fluid inside, maybe the lifespan will be more because I think the fluid breaks down and, and things start, corrosion starts happening internally on the batteries and that's what ends up killing them. So maybe this will last longer. Let me know if you know anything about the lifespan of these batteries. Of course, they'll have to build an infrastructure of these little things you can drive over to charge from underneath. They'll have to do that. So there's a lot of unknowns here, and this is going to be a long time until it hits the market, but at least it's coming out. At least they're saying they're improving the battery technology, but my guess is by the time they bring these batteries out, Tesla will already have the capacity to make large amounts of batteries with these Gigafactories and just convert over. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.